So how do you promote your list? How do you get people to find out about it and then of course get them to hopefully subscribe to your list? It's not just about getting more traffic. There are some specific ways that you can actually actively promote your email list and get more subscribers. So the first one is use a link to your list everywhere you can. So the more places that you can link to and reference your email list, the more traffic you're gonna get over to your opt-in page and the more subscribers you're gonna get. Use your bio links for your social media accounts. Link to your opt-in page. You know, get people coming from Facebook or wherever else. And even in your bio, promote the giveaway. Say, you know, go here for the 12 secrets on, you know, surviving if you're on a deserted island or, you know, whatever your special report's about for your market. But give the title of the thing if it has a great title, like 12 tricks for real increased real estate profits or whatever it is. But say, get my free report, 12 tricks on real estate profits by going here and then link to it. Now note, unless your homepage has a kind of highly publicized form for your opt-in, link to a separate landing page with these bio links. You know, oftentimes our homepages aren't set up really well for uh, opt-ins because we need to, you know, talk about other products, talk about what we do and some other things. However, it's very powerful if you make your homepage an opt-in form. And uh, for example, if you go to trafficsecrets.com right now, we're, you know, we're constantly going to be testing different models. But uh, right now, or at least before we kicked off this course, uh, you'd find an opt-in page where there's a free video preview series. So that is the homepage. And so our members can still, you know, click login and log into this class area. But the homepage is an opt-in form. So you want to think about doing that with your business. You can do a product launch where you get a bunch of affiliates to not only promote your product over a certain period of time uh, to make co sales commissions, but you can have them send the traffic to pre-launch content. You've probably seen this in the kind of internet marketing space where there'll be kind of two or three videos given out over the course of maybe 10 days. And the affiliates will you know, tell their lists about video number one and send people to it, video number two, send people to it, video number three, they send people to it, and then eventually the card opens with whatever the product that was being promoted in this campaign is for sale, and the affiliates can then promote the sales page directly, but the affiliates will promote the pre-launch uh, pieces of content that all these users have to opt in for first, because that allows the company running the pre-launch to then do follow-up where they can make more sales so that affiliate makes more commissions by getting them on a list. So doing a product launch is, you know, a great way to build a list if you do a big product launch. I've actually seen uh, people do product launches where they build a list of over 100,000 new subscribers. It's incredible, 100,000 new people on an email list from one product launch campaign. Now that's very rare, but What's not rare is five to 10 or even 20,000 new people on a list. That's very doable uh, with, if you have enough affiliates promoting you in a certain market. So do a product launch and you can build your list. Now you can have an evergreen affiliate program. Evergreen just means ongoing. So outside of having affiliates promote something in a product launch, you can just have an ongoing affiliate program that if they ever send traffic to your website, you'll give them a commission for every sale they refer. So having an evergreen program, one that's running all the time, and it's not just a specific time period for product launch, you can have the affiliate sending traffic to a page that's an opt-in, and then like for a free software demo or a free video series or whatever else, and then after they opt-in, then it promotes the main product that's being sold, and that's how the affiliate earns their commission. And they're, you know the automated follow-up helps make those sales for the affiliate. They don't have to do anything, but send traffic to the opt-in page, which is usually some good free content. Now, this is very underutilized and it can yield big results and get you a lot of people on your list. Guest posts and interviews are a great way to promote your opt-in list and whatever it is you give away. For example, let's stick with like the real estate investing example. If you sell real estate investing courses, that's your expertise or that's what your business does and you have an opt-in giveaway that's X number of ways to make more money with real estate investing or house flipping or whatever your specialty is. You could do an interview with somebody that has a podcast on different ways to make money or someone that has a podcast specifically on real estate 
or someone that has a blog on that same topic. But in your interview or in your guest post, you know, typically the host of your interview allows you to do some kind of minor pitch or promotion for your business because that's basically how they compensate you for doing an interview in the first place and giving great content to their audience. If they didn't have people giving content, you know, then they wouldn't have uh, a business. They wouldn't have any traffic. So you see this on TV as well. You know, typically somebody will come on a show, you know, a talk show, any celebrity, and, you know, you're wondering, oh, how much, you wonder how much they're paying this person to be on The Tonight Show. They don't pay them anything, but typically what happens is these celebrities are doing these press tours and they go on these shows in exchange for promoting their films. So you'll see, you know, Matt Damon on The Tonight Show and they'll do like a funny interview or play a game with him or do whatever. And then he, they show a clip from his upcoming movie. And so it's the same type of thing. So if you do a guest post or interview, they'll let you promote your business. And what they'll really let you do, which is kind of more, uh, more, more loud than doing a hard pitch for something you sell is to promote a giveaway, you know? So, and then the, the host will typically really push it for you because it's just more content. So they could say, Hey, if you enjoyed this Bob Walker interview, you can go to Bob's site and get his free report right now. It's completely free. He's written a great report on 12 unique ways you can make more money with your real estate investing. So doing guest posts and interviews is a great way to promote your free content giveaway. So it's a way to sell without doing, you know, heavy handed selling. And it's a great way to get a bunch of uh, email subscribers. Of course, run ad traffic direct to an opt-in page. We're going to get into this more obviously in this course as we start buying ads, buying traffic and sending them to our site. We can often send that traffic directly to the opt-in page. So that's goal number one is trying to get someone to opt into a list. And then goal number two comes later after they're on the list to try to actually sell them our products and services. And last but not least, a great way to promote your list is inside of mobile apps. We're going to cover that as well when we get to the mobile app marketing in this course. But you can build huge lists by using mobile app marketing. I personally built a list of over 400,000 people inside an app that I had created, one app. Now, that app, I've done multiple apps. That app in particular was for a mobile video game company that I started. And so those were video game players. Those were people that were playing one of the games that we developed. Where they kind of registered an account to be able to play the game and track their results. But still, it created a list of 400,000 people, almost half a million people. And we were able to you know, promote to those people and try to get them to download other, other apps and do other things. But you can build a list within an app like that in any market. You could have a camping content type app or you know, uh, maybe an app that shows people different hiking trails and things like that. And you can get them to opt in to get you know, weekly updates and alerts on news for national parks or whatever. I mean, anything you can think of as far as content and changing information, people will want to sign up for it to be notified for it. So there are many creative ways for you to build a list inside of mobile apps. We're going to talk more about mobile app marketing. It's very powerful now that there are over a billion smartphones in the world. It's a great way to generate prospects for your business and hopefully also get a bunch of new customers on an ongoing basis. But you can promote your list inside mobile apps. So take these promotion ideas, hopefully put as many as you can to use and you'll just build you'll build your email list bigger and bigger and bigger and hopefully your revenue as a result